hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm sure you read the title already we are going to be taking a look at some different types of cash envelope wallet systems that you can use if you don't have a lot of money and if you're just starting out or if you've been budgeting for a while and you're like fresh out of ideas and you want to like switch the game up um this video is for you all right so but before we hop into all of this if you have not already joined the family guys please make sure to click on that subscribe button and then also click on the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos and plus it's free and that way you can peep out this good information that i am giving you all right guys so with further ado let's go ahead and get started so um first things first we're going to start with the happy planner the half size i'm pretty sure that everybody has a happy planner by now happy planner has been out for a while so the happy planner letter size well half size is um i have a dashboard a junior um half letter disc so that's why i keep saying um half letter but yeah okay so but for this right here this is a good one um and the, you can find these at hobby lobby you can find them at michael's you can find them everywhere and then also you can use your coupon or your discount on it so this is like something easy that you can get your hands on you can change the disc according to how many envelopes you have in there if you have a little bit you can get the smaller disc rings or if you have kind of like in the middle you can get the medium classic size disc rings or if you got like a bunch of envelopes you balling you can get the expander disc all right so um this is just an old planner that i've had for a while um so this basically is just the half size and then also happy planner has made these little envelopes because i know a lot of people have been using these envelopes as cash envelopes and they are final and they will last a long time you can get these normally free in a pack and like i said you can get these at michael's um hobby lobby you can get them at you know any craft store so these are also a good option and then you can just put like a sticker on here and then you can just put whatever the category is and then also i'm sorry guys i'm like reaching back too so once you get your envelopes in here so this would be like a cheap system um you can use like these little papers that you can find also and you can actually get sometimes these on clarence also at joann's or some of your like michael's that they're not um selling anymore but this is just an expense tracker that's all beat up like i've had this for a while um and you can um i think i punched that like a thousand times and you can just basically put this in there and you can just make this as your expense budget book you got your bill pay checklist and then also you can use a line grid or this as um to track your envelopes to say like hey i started off with 20 dollars, and then i have you know i went to the bakery and i got some cupcakes mm, cupcakes and then um i know i want some cupcakes and then you can say like five dollars so i have 15 dollars left so that is an option that you can um use for that and then plus you can get you know get creative and you can just basically switch out the covers or switch out the envelopes for that so that is one way that you can start a nice inexpensive budget system there all right so another one is just plain and simple you can just get a box of envelopes and this is just and that way if you mess it up if they get old you can just recycle them throw them away and then you can just get another envelope and make another one or you can basically just go to your local bank ask the teller for a couple of the cash envelopes they'll give them to you and then you can just use those um, if you really want to be frugal you can just use that all right so the next thing that i have is this here is i have stickers in here now but um old stickers but you can just use this this is an old coupon holder that i got from the dollar store you can also put your envelopes inside of here and it's not very organized as i would say but it's something that you can put your stuff in to kind of keep it all separate from everything else in your purse so like i said if you don't have the money to get something fancy right now you have to do what you got to do you can just use this now another option also is i know some people do use the expandable files this right here is just one from the dollar store you can just put your tabs on here and you can use these as um, your cash envelopes you can do sections like gas groceries nails um car electricity you could do whatever you want to do and you can change the labels out whenever is needed 
Okay, so the next thing we have is, I'm pretty sure everyone has one of these. It's just a basic wallet. Now, if you do have a wallet that is made like this, you can actually do dividers, or if you have small enough envelopes that can stick in here, you can also pull that off also. Um, what we have here, how I use this is basically, I just have little laminated dividers that I made. You can basically stick it in here like that. And then also when you go in the store, you need to use your money. You can just basically just look behind it, put the money there. And then when you do your cash stuffing, you just basically say, okay, Aiden is getting what, 20 bucks, flip it over, put your 20 bucks there. Planning and budgeting is getting there, flip it over. And you can put whatever, um, how much you're gonna get, like 30 bucks, you can put it behind there. So that way you basically can do your cash stuff in that way, put it back in here and then you are good to go so this is another um inexpensive way that you can do a cash system for the cash envelopes all right so another thing we have is the accordion wallet um these right here i don't see these in the store a lot so a lot of times you have to like kind of like order them online so um but these are pretty um neat and convenient you can always change out the labels that you need i use all of these i have a lot of envelopes that I use so um, I had to make a dividers so which I showed you just a few minutes ago so the dividers that I have I also put those in here so that way um, when I do my cash stuff in I do it the same way I just explained to you and that way when I'm in the store I do have these on me so I can use for if I need to use them so a wallet is another way to do um, cash stuff in now another way is to do like maybe like a small clutch um, this is a wallet that I've had for a while um, and these are like a7 envelopes here pocket size so these are like a new um, little envelope that I am uh, working on so this is a new font that I'm doing so um, and these right here I do see these little um, clutches a lot of the times when I do go into the store so I see these a lot so this here I have a little piece of paper in here so these right here you can basically just put that in there and then that way you can just pull your envelope out that you need whichever one and then also you can put like your debit card you can put like your ID and then you can just do like your rewards card if you have whatever whatnot and then this saves a lot of space and it's super thin and then you can also carry it and then if you're like one of the ones that like sometimes i get paranoid so i ain't gonna say if you're one of the ones i'm part of one of the ones if you get paranoid that you think that this is going to open like i will like literally kid you not i will just hold it like this and just do it like that so i make sure but this right here the zipper is pretty much as you can see is secure so i don't really worry about that too that much is another way that you can also do um a cash envelope system now if you want to get super cheap guys now this i've had this for a while so y'all don't be um talking about my little photo album here <laughs> okay all right so i just got like some old stickers in here but if you really want to like if you seriously don't want to spend any money and you feel like you don't know if this is going to work for you head over to the dollar store and grab one of these little photo albums and then that way you can basically just use that to put your cash in and then you can um write like if it's like groceries or if it's like household car maintenance you can do that and then also you can kind of like change the cover of it to make it fun so this is like when i say frugal when i say you saving some money this here is you saving some money okay <laughs> all right so we're gonna put that there all right so the next thing that i have is um also with like the happy planner um we have these little envelopes so um with the envelopes these are made from happy planner dividers so i'm sure a lot of people have a happy planner somewhere so if you don't have envelopes and you want pretty envelopes but you don't have the money to spend like 15 or 20 dollars on a set you can actually use these little envelopes here for the dividers and you can make envelopes yourself i'll link the video up top where i show you how to make those right there um and then you just put tabs on those and that's how i started out with these i seriously started out where you can get some um what do you call it scrapbook paper Woo, girl lost my thoughts okay you can also get some scrapbook paper and then you can also do that and i just put the i don't know why i put these on there i was being so extra but um and then once you get all these pretty much done and these are actually the envelopes that i seriously started out doing my cash stuffing with which is crazy i still have these 
you can take this little envelope here and you can actually, and I think it's pretty cute. So if you don't have, you know what I'm saying, a nice little wallet, you can just put it in there. And then you can just basically snap the bad boy and then you can just take and throw that in your wallet and throw it in your wallet. This is too big to fit in your wallet. Throw this in your bag, your handbag, your purse, your tote or whatever, whatnot. Uh, whatever your situation is, you can just put it in there and you can carry it that way. Okay, now this is another option that um, I saw and I was thinking if I didn't have anything pretty much good or nice i would do this this is just like a little yubi okay y'all i'm probably tearing it up yubi yobi um cash wallet you can use this as a cash wallet i'm going to grab a couple of these out of there you can basically just take these and just stick your wallets in there if you want something pretty but like i said you don't want to spend a lot you can just take and put these in there and then use that and then zip it up and then you can put something like cute um let me grab this is like a little paper doll that i got and you can just kind of put something in there like that you know what i'm saying just something to decorate just something to make you excited about cash stuffing budgeting and you know what i'm saying something that just to motivate you okay all right so the next thing that i want to show you guys is also you can basically use this is a little bit more pricey this is a falafax wallet so once you get an envelope and you start saving it for like a cash wallet or something like that and you know what i'm saying and you have your funds ready to go and ready to buy something um this right here i basically got this off facebook yard sale page i'm not gonna lie to you guys for ten dollars so i did get this pretty cheap but this is another um wallet type thing that you can use it's a filofax Stefano compact organizers you can use like um planners to do like your cash envelope wallets and i think this one right here is just basically now everybody's using it for cash wallets so that's what everybody's using it for so this is another type of thing you can use to put your cash envelopes in and then these here are just final um laminated envelopes that i made to put my cash envelopes in and i got money sticking all out of the place so yeah so that is another option to use and then you can buy these from shops um, so these might be a little bit more expensive. So that's why I was giving you some other ideas to use. If you don't have your funds together yet and you need a little bit more time to buy cash envelopes. So um, that's just an option there. All right. So another thing um, is you can use a like a zip wallet. So these are wallets that I have and I've had this for a while. This was gifted to me and I still love this thing so, so much. So this, this right here, this one right here is where I keep my sinking funds in. And um, as you can see these, this is from Beauty and Budgeting. Um, I love her little envelopes. So these are um, envelopes also, these are for sinking funds. These already have the little tab inside of them. So once you use it, you can actually reuse it, take the paper out, or you can make it pretty. But as you can see, I just wrote in pan because <laughs> I was like, let me get down to it. But um, yeah, these are pretty much reusable. Um, that one's backwards, you guys can see. Um, and then this one right here is just the old Happy Planner um, divider that I told you guys how, to how I make them. And then I just use this and I like this one because it has Christmas and then I think that's it. And then we have one of these and this is for my 52 weeks challenge. So um, these are other options like the zip ones that you can also use also. So these are a good idea for wallets. And then, um, and then also if you are planning, like if you want to use it as a planner, um, I did this for a while. I did put my cash envelopes in the back of my planner so I could take everything along with me and it did work. So I like to switch my style up. So um, you, one day you might see me have this. One day you might see me have this. One day you might see me have this. And then so it's like I switch it all the time because I switch it because I want to make it like fun. You know what I'm saying? And not just like the same old, same old thing all the time. All right. So another thing is. I'm scared to open this wallet because I don't know if I got all the envelopes inside of the rings and I do not. <laughs> but this right here is a conscious wallet and this right here is another um, another type of wallet that you can use. Um, this is basically that was a planner, the agenda planner for the case paper. This is like meant for 
to be cash wallet and then you have these little envelopes here that has a side and then it also comes with the budget sheets that come inside of them so and it does have the six rings there so that is another planner this one right here you can kind of get off amazon i'm not sure if they restocked yet but um i know they were saying they were revamping or you know redoing the design but um this right here was off of amazon they had sent it to me um so i'm just going to stick that right there all right so this is another type wallet that you can get and I'm gonna stick that right there. All right, so this right here, I tell you guys, I got all y'all probably like, girl, all your money is gone in these these wallets here. But a lot of these were given to me for reviews or gifted to me, or I got them like on a crazy crazy deal, or was something that I had before I started budgeting, which is this one here. But I still got a good deal on it because I used Macari and I did get some good credits. So um, this right here is just a Franklin Colby. This is like seriously like an old school one i think it's like i can't remember the name of it but um it's this is the inside of it and you can use like i said you can use whatever planner if it has rings i think these are like 30 rings because these are pretty big and like i said you can use this you got the pin loop and you can use this to put your cards in and then this is another binder that you can use to you know what i'm saying and you have your coins that you can put here so like i said just look around like your office or at home and see what you have to kind of like you know figure out what you need to you know what i'm saying because it might be something that you already have in your stash that you can use and don't have to worry about spending any money just yet this is gonna fall because i got a lot of stuff just yet you know what i'm saying so um another thing that you are you you can use is a traveler's notebook you're gonna be like what <laughs> A traveler's notebook all right this is an old webster's page i told you guys these are old things that i've had so uh webster's notebook i have this thing upside down i haven't used this in a while is um you can have um folders in here and then this is just a wallet that i made um when i was using it for my id and then for my cards and then for my change there um so this is like crazy old um and this right here is where you can put like your cash so you can put like cards or whatever whatnot um and then this right here if you get a few of these you can actually like put them under here and then you can just like have a bunch like you have a lot of card slots over here but you can use these for envelopes and you can use these accordingly to your budget all right and then like the book you can do like your grocery list or you can do like your expenses or whatever you need to do all right so that a traveler's notebook is another idea for an inexpensive cash envelope system because sometimes people have these things sitting at their house and you don't think about it unless somebody say hey have you ever thought about using a cash envelope system using your tn notebook for that and you're like what i never thought about that so that's why i'm here today i'm trying to give you guys some good ideas of where you can start or if you already started then you can be like oh i have that in my stash let me grab it okay all right and then this is like the most popular one of all it's like um just a vinyl a6 personal notebook um and this is what people are using um to put their cash envelopes or their sinking funds so this is another um and these are pretty reasonable price also and then also you can get those personalized too for yourself also all right so the next thing we have is the mo terms okay i only have three mo terms y'all so i don't have a lot so y'all don't be like grand day girl so these are the three that i have um so for this one you can um use um these little small zip envelopes i can never tell which one is open and which one is closed so you can also use those and you can put those inside and then also the little envelopes that i just made you can also put these in there also okay, and get it in the little hole so these are also fit in there so those will make good um and these are just little envelopes so that way you can use your mo term if you do have because i know some a lot of people have these things but sometimes they never think about using them as cash and cash envelope systems and then plus you have like the wallet up here and i have receipts in there i gotta scan um and then you have where you can put your cards in and then you know you can do a lot with that 
all right and then also um, I have a Versa so a Versa is this slides out like this you can just basically take this this has like the big 30 rings I switched those out you can just basically take just this with you and you don't have to worry about taking the big one with you and just use this as a cash envelope wallet if you want to or if you want to take the whole thing you can totally up to you all right and you can get these off amazon macari um or ebay but this is um another this is a personal size this was a gray croc but i painted this thing y'all and i did a video i'll post it up here where i painted it pink all right so this is another one that you can just do this is a um personal size and this is where you can do envelopes in here you can just make this to a cash envelope wallet and then it does have the pocket up top so and guys i think that is all of my ideas of showing you guys exactly little teeny um tips and stuff like that that you can use for a cash envelope wallet system so i hope this was pretty much useful for you guys and then also make sure that if you have not already joined my page i don't know if that came out right if you have not already followed not join you can't join my page <laughs> follow my page my instagram um it's called a pink cloth life and then i thank you guys so much for hanging with me again and then like i always say until next time guys peace